On one November morning, in a small rural village in Nonsan, South Chungcheong Province, rice is cooked in a big iron vat. Villagers gather to prepare food for an ancestral tribute. They carry out the chores with all their heart, even though the rite is not for their own ancestors. Joseon era scholar Sung Sam Moon was one of six officials executed when they were caught planning the reinstatement of King Tanjong, who had been dethroned by his uncle King Sejo in 1455. Three generations of the Sung family were killed in the tragedy. Now the villagers have assumed the role of Sung descendants. Song was neither their ancestor nor benefactor, but they still hold an annual service to the stalwart scholar. What are they trying to carry on? Chongno in downtown Seoul, a place with 600 years of history. Sungyungwan, an institution of higher Confucian learning in Joseon, still retains its prestige. The typically silent Sungyungwan is bustling with children today. The children are here to learn the spirit of Confucianism. They marvel as they awkwardly put on the long, flowing garb of Joseon era scholars. Though clad in scholarly costumes, they are still children. Their cell phones seem glued to their hands. The first class at Sungyungguan starts at last. Unlike the man's bow, a woman has to put her right hand over the left and raise the folded hands up to the shoulder before bowing halfway down. In the olden days, men and women bowed differently. Teachers and young scholars are gathered in the yard. Just two meals a day. That is unthinkable for these children. But they demurely follow the teacher with their hands folded. At the Taesong John Yard, the children learn the five moral principles of Confucianism.
The children leave Sungyunguan to arrive at Chaun Seowon in Paju, Gyeonggi province. Unlike the state-run Sungyunguan, Seowons were private academies established in local areas to spread the teachings of Confucius. Chaun Seowon was built in 1615 to remember the scholarly achievements and morality of Yulgo Gyi, a great scholar and statesman. Yulgo Gyi was a giant pillar of Confucianism in 16th century Joseon. He is still revered today as the sage of the East. The children walk up Mount Chaun. The climb is hard enough, but one child is busy studying even during the ascent. This is the gravesite of Yulgo Gyi and his mother. A cultural tour guide explains to the children who Yulgok was and what kind of legacies he left us. Two short days are not enough to learn everything about Confucianism. But these children have gotten a glimpse of what it takes to become an honorable person. The Seoul Museum of History in Chongno, Seoul is showing displays of Hanyang, the old Seoul. The Joseon Dynasty, with Hanyang as its capital, began 600 years ago. Joseon founders adopted Confucianism as the nation's governing philosophy and left its marks all over the capital city. From Hanyang to Seoul, the city underwent rapid transformations over several centuries, but Seoul still remembers its yesteryears. Hunginjimun, a main gate built to the east of Hanyang in the early days of Joseon. Tonimun, the city's west gate, only its site remains today. Sungyamun, in the south side of the city, is undergoing restoration after being destroyed in a fire. Hongjimun was built to be more accessible to people than the northern gate of Sukjongmun. The grand bell of Boshingak rang to alert people of the opening and closing times of the city gates. Chongmyo, where the memorial tablets of past kings and queens are kept, is situated to the left of the palace. Sajikdan, or the altar where the gods of earth and crops are worshipped, was placed to the right of the palace in adherence to Confucian principles. The city of Hanyang thus teaches us to live benevolently, justly, courteously, wisely, and trustfully. Sungyunguan University in Chongno. Its predecessor is Sungyunguan, Choson's highest educational institution, and one founded in 1398. The spirits of the young men of Choson who studied and followed Confucian ways are still alive in today's students. <laughs> Confucianism in Korean society is not confined to ancient books. 
but endures in daily life. Myeongyundang, the study hall of Sungyungwan, is nestled among 500-year-old trees. People from all over Korea gather here for Sukjon Teje, the memorial service for Confucius held twice a year. Chogi Won has come from Taejeon to take part in the ritual. Twenty-eight officials are in charge of Sukjon Teje. Roles are decided before the rehearsal. Those inexperienced in the rite of Sukjon Teje usually play such simple roles as the incense carriers or wine pourers. The three-day rehearsal starts now. Participants try to relax with a little laughter. <laughs> <laughs> These four men will perform as a team to dedicate the service to the esteemed Confucian sages. <laughs> Yekukamura 그 위한 행사가 석전 의미 바뀌었어요. 그래서 Even taking steps requires repeated practice. Participants must walk silently and in unison. When going up the stairs, their steps must be synchronized as well. Sokjon Deje is the epitome of Confucian ceremonies. Each process embodies strict Confucian decorum. Sokjon Deje는 뭐 지역에서도 하고 있는 행사입니다. 그러나 이 성균관이라면은 유교의 어떤 성지와 같은 곳이기 때문에 성균관에서 직접 어떤 석전 제를 배운다는 자체가 그 자체로도 의미가 있는 것이라고 생각해서 참여하게 됐습니다. The entire day is spent practicing how to walk and bow, memorizing the flow and learning about the basic attitude and theories of Confucianism. A new day dawns. Now the real rehearsal for Sokjon Deje begins. 
From the bowing to the memorial tablets of Confucius and Confucian scholars in the main hall, to the washing of hands, all the procedures are carried out in the same way the real ceremony is. The ancestral tablets are kept inside the shrine. Both the instructors and students are busy with their tasks. Chogi Won is playing the role of Pongjak or a wine bearer. He has to deliver the wine glass to an official, who then offers the wine to Confucius. Though the roles are minor, they must be played flawlessly. This is why they keep rehearsing. Bowing movements are carefully watched so that mistakes can be pointed out. Participants receive their certificates of ceremonial roles. This signals the end of the Sokchon Deje rehearsal. As the rehearsal winds down, the main hall of Taesongjeon bustles with activity. The seats for spectators are arranged. And the food for Sokjeon Deje is prepared. The ritual spread for 39 Confucian sages, which include Confucius, five Chinese masters, and 18 Korean scholars, requires great preparations. Priests walk toward the main hall. All the processes of Sokjeon Deje are carried out according to the prescribed sequence. The ritual food is put on the table for the 39 sages. The placing of food on the table in accordance with Confucian etiquette is called Jinsol. It is also one of the priestly duties. Once the table setting is over, the preparation for Sokjeon Deje is complete. The day of Sokjeon Deje. Participants change from simple scholarly costumes to the colorful uniforms of Sungyun Gwan officials. <laughs> <laughs> Korean ancestors incorporated various Confucian ideas to even clothing. This is the last accessory that completes the outfit for the Sokjeon Deje. 
어, 옛날에는 오기라든지 금속으로 해서 이제 소리가 나게 돼 있거든요. 그래서 이거는 이제 소리 나라고 하는 게 아니라 어, 걸어갈 때 조심스럽게 걸어서 어, 소리가 나지 않게 하는 그래서 조심스럽게 하라는 의미로 옆에다 다는 겁니다. How can one walk noiselessly with a bell attached? Nonetheless, the priests walk toward the main hall of Tae Seongjeon. Tae Seongjeon of Seonggyunguan is not the only place holding Seokjeon Daeje today. Local Confucian schools also host the grandest of the Confucian festivals. A performance of Parilmu with 64 dancers and ancestral rite music takes place. The first official offers incense to five great sages. Each participant carefully fulfills his role as he has practiced over the three-day rehearsal. The presenter of the first glass sips the wine. This is to honor the sage's spirits by sharing the wine and food offered in the memorial service. Sokjeon Deje comes to a close when the prayer read at the start of the ceremony is burned. These people have clung to the tradition. Their tenacity is what has preserved Korea's cultural pride and spirituality. A market in downtown Daejeon. This store belongs to Jo Gi Won, who has returned to his everyday life after Sokjeon Daeje. Jo and his wife now run this Hanbok store, which was once owned by his mother. <laughs> the couple warmly welcomes some guests, but they don't appear to be shopping for Hanbok. Jo and his guests arrive at his modest study room. His initial interest was in small forms of Korean etiquette. But what he found in the fine points of etiquette was a greater need for Confucian spirit in people's lives. These ordinary people are bound by their determination to preserve Confucianism. Their dedication is what strengthens Korean Confucianism.
a high school in Daejeon. Seniors with the college entrance exam behind them soon face graduation. Jo and his wife visited the school, where a traditional coming-of-age rite for high school seniors was planned by the school and local Confucian Association. Students learn how to bow before taking part in the rite. Cho shows how to do it correctly. The bowing teaches how to humble oneself and respect others by harmonizing the body and mind. They are still in children's outfits. The girls have their hair braided to show that they have yet to come of age. Joe and his wife host the coming of age ceremony. Boys get top knots and headdresses for adults, and girls get ornamental hairpins as indications of their entry into adulthood. Now, boys have to wear a kat, or traditional Korean hat for men, and an official headpiece when serving in the government. <laughs> Two students have changed into the traditional nuptial outfits. In the coming of age ceremony, girls change clothes twice, and boys three times. The rite, which began back in the Koryo era, was held every May in Sanggyunguan during the Joseon period. Times may have changed, but adult duties and responsibilities have not. The students are certain to remember this day as they venture out to the real world. <laughs> A quiet village in Andong, North Gyeongsang Province. As if lost in time, the main ancestral residence of the Kwon family in Yechon retains its ancient appearance. Confucian influence is still prevalent in Andong and other towns in North Gyeongsang province. There is a small building off to one side of the residence. A surveillance camera and a dog watch over it. Security seems pretty tight here. This is a warehouse for Confucian wood blocks. The wooden printing blocks were made to pass down the Confucian values of the Joseon era and Confucian way of life.
Taedong Unbu Kunok, compiled by 16th century scholar Kwan Munhe, is an encyclopedia covering the history, famous figures, and geography of the Korean peninsula. It is engraved on 677 wood blocks. <laughs> Another village in Andong. A special event is planned for the ancestral residence of the Lee family of Kyungju. A new warehouse built in the compound has some 200 Confucian wood blocks that have been passed down for generations. The wooden blocks are engraved with a collection of poems and novels by the esteemed writer Ikje Ije Hun of the Koryo era. The elders of the Lee family have gathered to discuss the donation of these treasured wood blocks. The elders allow the blocks to be donated hoping these legacies are carefully preserved for a long, long time. The wooden blocks are piled in the yard. These relics represent the teachings of their ancestors and pride of later generations. The pressure to safeguard the wood blocks is gone, but growing instead is the sadness of sending them off. The blocks are moved one by one. Wooden blocks with Confucian teaching are collected with the help and blessings of old families. Uh,十八世纪,个,中州的王的,呃,中州的王的,呃,中州的王的,呃,中州的王的,呃,中州的王的,呃,中州的王的,呃,中州的王的,呃,中州的王的,呃,中州的王的,呃,中州的王的,
Today, some special guests have visited the Korean Studies Advancement Center. They are members of UNESCO's Memory of the World Review Committee, who have come to assess the value of the Confucian wood blocks. It is not uh, often that we see such a large collection of wood blocks um, gathered in one museum like this, uh, realizing the value, the historical value of these wood blocks, which um, goes back to, uh, to four centuries ago. And um, for us, what is also of importance is the um, um, meaning that these wood blocks have for this community because of the uh, uh, high level of spirituality which um, Ando has in uh, the philosophy of Confucius. The main ancestral residence of Twege Yi Huang is also in Andong. Together with Yulgok, Twege Yi Huang is applauded as a great promoter of Confucianism during the Joseon dynasty. UNESCO officials now enter the residence. A descendant of Yi Huang comes out to greet them. He explains the writings on the signboards. Plaques hang all over the residence. The entire house is like a small museum. The writing says, Upon seeing goodness, act as if it came from within me. It is a precious piece of counsel for such special guests. This building has the same ambience as I just talked about. Uh, when we entered, Again, it was not a museum, it was not a heritage building, it was a living heritage building because uh, uh, the old gentleman lived there and uh, he, he welcomed us and he gave us gift, very nice gifts by the way. Uh, and because of that, I think that you get another feeling for heritage. I'm very amazed to see how the heritage of this area is kept, and kept very well. Uh, the wood blocks, of course, are very valuable evidence of the thoughts and the continuity. And, uh, but they were resurrected. They were built again. So the spirit of preservation, you know, of continuing what is good, uh, is remarkable here, and I think it should be a good example for other people in the world, you know, to see this. The World Confucianism Festival was held June through October 2010 at nine locations around North Gyeongsang province. This was Korea's first attempt to commercialize Confucian culture. Tudor Village, which means a village on the hill is located in Yongyang, North Gyeongsang Province. A small concert delights the whole village.
it would not be a true festival without food. Being a Confucian festival, recipes from the Joseon era cookbook, Umshik Timibang, written by a mistress of the Chang family in Andong, are recreated. The local version of chapche is made with assorted vegetables and meat instead of cellophane noodles. Tonga nurumi traditional chapche and kajayuk with pork and lotus root. These little-known dishes have survived 340 years. Umshik Dimipang, written in 1670, means the ways to appreciate the flavors of food. This is East Asia's first cookbook written by a woman and the first to be written in the Korean alphabet, Hangul. 주로 음식이 양반가의 음식이 106가지가 수록이 되어 있는데 그 중에 술이 신한 가지고요. 어 요즘 이제 재현하기 어려운 곰 발바닥 요리 음, 음식도 있고 뭐 여러 가지가 있습니다. 동아, better known as gourd, belongs to the gourd family like the pumpkin. These people try making tonga nurumi. First, the tonga is thinly sliced. Then mushrooms and other ingredients are minced and stir-fried. The sautéed ingredients are rolled in a thin slice of tonga. Then the rolls are steamed, and the tonga nurumi is complete. Confucianism had confined women to household chores like cooking and sewing. But even within strict constraints, the lady author of this cookbook found ways to create new recipes and preserve them for posterity. Those exposed to the rare flavors of Joseon era dishes will long remember the World Confucianism Festival. Dosan Sawon in Andong, North Gyeongsang Province, was built in the 16th century to honor Twege Yi Huang. Those who have gathered in the front yard of Dosan Sawon are there for the Dosan Poem Contest. <laughs> The topic for the poem is the newly established Confucian Cultural Center. Contestants find comfortable places around the building and start composing the verses. Reenacting the special national examination held in the 18th century in Andong for rural Confucian scholars, the Dozan Poem Contest celebrates its 18th year. The contestants try to express through poetry the Confucian ideology and man's moral duties. 반실을 하게 되면은 자기가 생각하는 말을 그 누구든지 볼수 있도록 그 감정을 표현하는 그런 저기 때문에 자기도 물론 좋지만 남이 왔을 때도 상당히 그 식구가 잘 되면 공감하고 
그참 좋은 그런 적이 됐습니다. 그래서 시를 하게 된 겁니다. 여하튼 그뭐 옛날로 돌아가진 못해도 옛날 어른들이 하는 걸 이어서 이래서 하게 되니까 매우 참 기분이 흐뭇하고 좋습니다. 여하튼 뭐 우리들은 현재 이래 하고 있기는 하지만은 아마 뒤를 이울 분들이 아마 저말로 어, 없을까봐 또뭐 걱정이 좀 됩니다. 아마 그 젊은 분들은 모두 생업에 바쁘고 모두 한 일이 많기 때문에 예, 현재 구하기는 뭐 정말로 별로 뭐 관심을 두지 않는 경향이 좀그 선한 감도 들고 앞으로는 그 맥이 끊어질까 참 걱정도 됩니다. 고공성. A panel of judges reviews the poems written by about 300 contestants. 시제 합당해야 되고 또시그 보통 짓는 그 이제 그 고저 청탁이 맞아야 되고. 또 내용이 충실해야 되고 이제 시제를 두고 잘 표현한 글이 아주 적당하게 잘 표현한 글이 길 잘지 있는 글이 After a long wait, the top prize winner is announced. To the disappointment of many, only one contestant is named the best poet. He dons the majestic garb of a prize winner and basks in glory. <목소리도> 어, 동양 삼국 가운데 유교의 종주국이라고 할수 있죠. A musical is being performed against the scenic backdrop of Mungyong, North Gyeongsang Province. The performance is also part of the Confucian Cultural Festival. Mungyong Seja is a high hill that used to stand in the way of many young Confucian students heading to Hanyang for national exams. Today, the hill is the backdrop for the love story of Chunhyang and Mongnyong. The Confucianism of today reaches out to the world in the form of such diverse cultural contents. Confucianism has undergone many ups and downs over the past 2,500 years to survive as a way of life and a cultural root. Today, Confucianism tells us long-forgotten truths how to live most like a human being and in harmony with the world. That is how Korean Confucianism bridges the past and present.